What's up, YouTube? It's Bruce's. We back with a little, a little different video of me. Today, we talk about my jury journey, how I got through the whole process, and I'm gonna give you some tips on how to, you know, maneuver your way around. Do your retwist. We got products. Let's get into it. All right. So this first picture on the screen is about two years ago. This was before I started my dreads. This is when I was growing into my free form. Now this picture, this was what? This was homecoming. You see the growth. I, got, I had a little fro on me. But yeah, this is when I really started to see like my hair. It was it was growing a little fast. So I just kept it like that for a couple more months. And boy, oh boy, this picture, when I cut my freeforms, I didn't know what to do with myself. So yeah, so this is when I cut my hair and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna start dreads. This is tip number one. The first tip I can give you is if you can, you should start with longer hair. I start, you see the, the length I started at and it, it led to like the other ugliest stage of them all you'll see in the next photo but yeah i would suggest you to start with a little longer hair maybe like a little taper fade significantly longer than the hair that i had when i started this is where it all started so you as you see on the picture i started october 26th yeah it's been a long journey but you'll see as the video goes and how long it's really been so usually i was wearing do-rags all the time with this hair i felt like messed the growth up my suggestion don't wear as much do-rags as i did wear a bonnet to bed they unravel really quickly once you first start and when they're, when they're not fully locked, wearing nothing to bed, it's gonna unravel. You're gonna go right back to the same hair you did. So I suggest getting a bonnet or a do rag to wear to bed. But don't wear the do rag all through the day. Let your hair breathe and don't be like me. I wore a do rag all through the school day. These next like three or four pictures are basically me after this is like my third retwist. I couldn't find a video of my second retwist, which was two strands. They were like dookie turds. My third retwist, I felt I felt good because after the two strand, I was like, I don't know if I want to do this no more. But I was like, I'm gonna keep the journey going. I'm gonna see where this takes me. I was like, okay, I see a little growth and I see how it works. Okay, so the next two pictures are my fourth retwist or so, I think. It's not really much from the last one. You can definitely see a little growth here and there. But another tip that I have for you, you know what I'm saying? Giving the tips out. Come on, that's man. That's cool. But yeah, another tip for y'all is you first start, you should more than often get a retwist like every month to three weeks. So when you feel a little new growth and it's been like three weeks to a month, you should try your hardest to get a retwist. But after a couple of retwists, you can wait a little longer your dress can grow and you can see the girls when you get another reach these next two pictures are really after the last retwist that you just saw you see the growth i got the two strand it really hyped me up to keep doing the journey as long as i could because it really it was making me happy a little bit to see the growth and how long i've come since the first picture and another tip you should get styles because they last a long time they will they last longer than you if you just retwist your dread the styles are more durable and when you get the like when you take them out your hair will be everywhere but by that time you'll just gouache and get another retwist so you should keep the styles in for as long as you can and then when you're gonna get a retwist take it out and then you'll see real growth these next two pictures are the retwist after the two strand now you see i can feel a little hang if the dress are they coming a little down from the first picture they were a little, a little a little worms but now you can see they look they grew and for all the people saying that you know what i'm saying middle parts they ugly or this, you just gotta wait you gotta wait till they get longer because they the middle parts it's like it depends on who the person is or how they style their dress this next picture is when i got two strand before school you see you see this picture look i get my hair in the little ponytail stuff yeah you see the growth from the last two strand to now yeah i just kept getting styles because i see that they work and they help my growth go a little faster than it already was boy oh boy this retwist right here this was like okay now my dress really starting to you know what I'm saying it really starting to move i took a lot a month off from getting the retwist just because i wanted to see long growth with my dread and you see now they got thick and they got longer i was starting to say the journey was you know what i say it was worth it when you first get a retwist don't expect it to be the same length as it will what two weeks or three weeks shrink is, is a thing but as you see in in these two pictures uh this is really like what a month after i got the last retwist you see the shrink is, is there but you still see the thickness in the dreads and how long they actually become this picture you see you see i got the roof so that means i got a retwist and this is what the retwist looks like right now uh it's been about a month and a half that i got this retwist uh you see now this picture this is like the back and you can see now my full head the full back of my head is is covered with hair with thick dreads now you see here the dreads they on the way you know what i'm saying to the eye line and they look a little long they look thick as 
from the last retwist. My advice to you is don't compare yourself to other people. Don't expect your dress to grow like really fast in a matter of what, four to five months, like they're gonna be like this. You just gotta trust the process and you gotta use the right products. But right now, let's get into the products. So the first product you see, I got the Dugru Anti-Itch Hair Oil. Uh, so when I first started, like four to five months, my hair was really itchy. So I had to find an oil that would stop the itchiness and so I can just live without just doing this all the time this is what i was doing through the through that do rag but yeah this really helps you i'll put all the products in the description so you can get it also next this one i don't have it on me because i <laughs> use it all i'll pop it up on the screen this is like rose water you could put this on your hair when you're about to leave and it will keep your hair moisturized so it won't be dry all the time this really helps with dry scalp dandruff because you know dandruff it do get a little annoying when you first start next these two things right here this is a bonnet and this is a do-rag these are essential you have to get these because when you go to bed you don't know what you're doing so you're unconscious i suggest you get both of these before you do before you even start because that first day you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wrap up before they unravel that first day you don't want that after just getting the reason all right so that's the video i hope y'all enjoyed this little this little journey video that i just decided to put out there if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe actually nah 50 likes might be a little crazy but i feel like we can do it, it 1k we're gonna have a little you know so i got something special for 1k a little tough video that y'all are going to enjoy so i hope y'all had a blessed day and love y'all peace